So, as far as cancers in the brain is, brain is concerned, uh, surgery definitely has an extremely important role and that is a lot because there is a blood-brain barrier because of which the penetration of drugs into the nervous system is very poor. So we cannot rely on drug treatment in most of the diseases as it is possible in the rest of the body. So a very effective radical removal of cancers in the brain is very essential for a good outcome. So that is the primary reason why surgery is so important okay. that you know that so the other reason that we do for uh, you know for cancers we operate is because uh, a lot of times because these are pretty fast growing tumors they come to us with a very short history just maybe a week in the really bad tumors and they've by that time already have a very large tumor and the, one of the main issues with having a large tumor is that because the brain is confined in a very finite space because of the surrounding bone. So any additional space occupying structure within causes an extreme rise in pressure. So one of the other important reasons why we do surgery is to reduce that pressure. So we would remove the tumor as far as possible so that uh, uh, space is created with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, are open surgeries the only options for cancer treatments or are there non-invasive treatments for brain and spine cancer as well? Yeah, so uh, like there is a particular condition uh, called lymphoma where the primary treatment is medication, right? So then the role of surgery would be essentially to establish the diagnosis. So it would involve a biopsy. Mm -hmm. So that's a relatively minor procedure where we put in a needle on the uh, precision guidance to reach precisely in that area and take a biopsy. So once we've established the diagnosis, then we can proceed straight and give chemotherapy and in the occasional patient radiation as well. So in this particular condition, which is lymphoma, surgery has not a very big role. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what is CyberKnife? CyberKnife is basically a very good name for a gadget which gives re precision radiation, right? Mm -hmm. And this is basically a, a linear accelerator. That means the radiation source It's a linear accelerator. So that is mounted on a robotic arm, right? So you have those arms that you see being used in uh, factories involved with making automobiles. So a similar kind of thing, maybe slightly more precision, slightly more heavy duty. You mount this radiation device on the end of it and it goes around and around the head or the rest of the body and uh, it gives radiation at a, in a precise way. It's actually quite an old technology. There are many more advanced machines available now which divides the movement between the head and that means the patient also moves and the machine also moves. Mm -hmm. Like in this, just the machine moves. So by doing that, it's simplifying the movements of the machine and so the machine which is producing the radiation can be much more complex because it can be now a much more heavier machine mm -hmm. because the movements are more simple. So one of the main advantages of this is that you are able to uh, the term we use is collimate, collimate the beam. That means it's a beam shaper. So you, since the beam goes round the head, it's a constantly changing silhouette of the tumor that it is seeing. So by changing the shape of the beam, you're being able to cover that whole area in a much uh, lesser time. And that is very important, especially in a patient who has pain and all that, so that the precision is further enhanced by just reducing the period of the uh, radiation. Okay, and my last question is, I've been hearing a lot about Novalis. What's the difference between CyberKnife and Novalis? Yeah, Novalis is one of the more recent 
machines compared to the cyber knife, right? Cyber knife, as I repeat again, it's a very great name, but it's actually a very old technology, and it's really uh, not the best way to do radiation now. Novalis is a far superior machine. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Yeah.